Yeah, it's Saturday and we're gonna go for like a little walk. I'm very much on foraging TikTok. Something about it excites my soul, like seeing mushrooms growing in the wild. It's just always something I wanted to do in person. Hopefully we haven't missed it. I've only missed it last year. All right, let's see what we find. Mushrooms number one, gooey guys. not my first time here now standing with you and speaking to you and putting the power of Skopmish prayer of our ancient language into the solidarity of the Palestinian people and their movement. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Good morning. I will say interior decor design wise there is little I hate more in this life than these kind of doctor's blinds. I mentioned in my last video that I kind of wanted to do a video where I talked about some of the routines that I want to implement, some of the things I want to add into my life now that I'm sort of free from a little bit of New York chaos and have a bit more time to myself, time for self care. And I am doing across the board internal hopefully external also glow up. I think this is a really nice time to bring habits and routine into the awareness because it's December and before you know it, the vision boards will be rolling around, the, you know, 2024 goals, all of that stuff. And I really wanna get a head start this year because a lot of the things that I tried last year really did work. And I'm just trying to get settled into doing some of those new things and having some of those new routines before the year's even started. So if that sounds good to you, stick around, but there's also other vlog stuff from pretty much the last month that I've been here, so I need to make it all into a nice little story, but I thought I would start off with new breakfast routines. My lovely little boyfriend here, working from home, putting up with me as I vlog. But yes, the first thing I wanna do is have more savory, warm breakfasts, like kind of alternative breakfast. We've had some eggs on the boil, which I hope I haven't ruined by talking to you guys too long. They were meant to have a seven minute boil sitting there for, 10 or 12 minutes now, so they're probably overdone. So we're off to a great start. I've seen some other people I relate to on TikTok and the likes kind of talk about this idea of like having salads for breakfast and not having typical breakfast foods for breakfast. I've kind of been defaulting to yogurt, chia seed, fruit puddings, but I just don't love a cold breakfast. Breakfast is just the meal that mentally I struggle with the most in the mornings. Like I can't like think I don't crave anything. It's almost a means to an end because I know once I have my breakfast, I can have my coffee. And I'll be honest, that's the thing that kind of gets me going. Oh, by the way, we got a coffee maker and I'm so excited to 
show you guys how I make a coffee with it. Reheated the quinoa. We don't have a microwave, but personally I'm not a fan anyway. I've kind of like lived long enough without one. I've become a pro at just reheating food other ways. And honestly, I think it always tastes way better. Those are definitely hard boiled eggs, but fine, we'll do better next time. Black pepper. Ew. Okay, not bad, not bad. You know what? I'm actually pretty excited to eat this. Got some quinoa, egg, and air fried summer squash leftovers. Mmm. Spicy mayo on any breakfast thing. This is perfect. Nice way to use leftovers. You think sauteed tomatoes or like the cherry tomatoes would be so good with this. So annoyed. I already realized that I shot that whole intro today in like 1080p and not 4K footage. Still getting the hang of that. To film for over five minutes, you pretty much can't shoot in 5K. Like these little cameras will always overheat. It's annoying, but hey, now you can see my my little zit in 4K. But I've chucked on some nicer pants. Enough chit chat. It's finally time for coffee. Honestly, spending so much money getting coffees every day. It made sense to buy one. We got the cheapest DeLonghi. They're like 150 bucks Canadian. Otherwise, probably my favorite coffee that I've had here. It's a local Vancouver Roasters, but it's the brand of coffee that they have at Radish, which is like a local cafe of mine in Kits that I absolutely love. It's like my favorite cafe in Vancouver. I think Hidden gem, no one really talks about. I'm gonna do the nocturnal espresso. I will say as somebody that hates decaf coffee usually this is the nicest one that i've ever had compared to nespresso <laughs> it's definitely taken a while to get used to still haven't nailed it yet but we've got like a, a decent coffee situation going boyfriend has some barista experience so he's been kind of showing me the ropes i'm gonna try doing a little bit more coffee than i have been doing previously i wish you could smell it mm. this little thingy to give it an old judge still in the process of figuring out how exactly we'll make it taste as nice as the coffee shop. Testing out different milks and stuff. Also, no, I would normally not do this in this order. We have one tray of ice between the two of us and I hate when it gets melted. It's like the espresso water, watery. This is very similar to what I have been ordering, which is just an eight ounce iced latte. Like anyone that just always finds that their lattes or iced lattes are too milky, just ask for an eight ounce and it'll be perfect. Cheers. Some Tom's moment. See? Penny's <laughs> to be fair, that is the closest tasting one to the coffee shop. We've deduced that the oat milk works really good with the decaf, but I think maybe the almond milk is where it's at. For me. Also would like to preface this by saying this is a very frivolous list of you know things I'm adding into my life. They seem dumb in comparison to everything that's going on in the world, everything that's going on in Palestine, everything that's going on in the Congo, every everywhere. There's lots of words I can't use because unfortunately these platforms pick them up and your content essentially gets shadow banned. I've been experiencing that on Instagram when I use certain words. All of November AdSense, so all of the ad revenue uh, money generated through these videos with Google AdSense would be donated to relief efforts and I have done that. The money came through. So just by you being here, know that you helped. I have to the piece CRF I believe which is a children's relief fund and the other half I donated for eSIMS. This little list on my iPhone just called new personal goals. They're in no specific order. You already saw one which is have more savory breakfast and more protein with my breakfast. Next one is new kind of hair care and skincare routines. I have simplified my skincare so much and I feel like my skin has never looked better. Like I'm barely even using a serum these days. So I've cut way, 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 way back. I'm pretty much just using like a good moisturizer most of the time. I have really noticed in myself is a loss of volume around my temples. I'm convinced it was when I was working out six days a week 
during the pandemic in my flat I was doing like hit workouts and I feel like all of these like veins started popping up like really strong sometimes when I smile like see when I smile this one pops really hard which is like very frustrating can I get that zapped can anyone tell me if that's like a zappable laser Thing. I'm not getting filler or any of that. I've always had kind of a, an under eye situation, like a darker under eye, which is natural, it's fine. I don't hate them. However, because the skin under there is so delicate and thin already, going forward, I kind of want to do more preventative stuff. There's this one girl that I follow on TikTok who completely influenced this purchase. I did no back research myself other than her before and afters and the fact that she's not really like an influencer. She wasn't being like TikTok salesy about it. It's this product called Volufiline and it's just like a little skincare booster that you put in, mix it in with a little bit of eye cream. They give you this little thing to mix it in because you have to mix it fresh every time. You can't like batch mix it. I got the exact one that she showed, which is the one with the French flag on it. I think it takes your pre-fat cells like the ones that are, aren't fully developed yet and sort of like pushes them along no research but i am very much open to being your guys guinea pig do not run out and buy it yet then with the hair care i really really want to start hair oiling so i bought a jojoba to be the carrier and then i just have the classic miel rosemary scalp oil which is meant to be great for hair growth i think this is too strong on its own so i'm going to mix my scalp has been really irritated and like sad lately and obviously i have a lot of hair which makes me sometimes neglect or take it for granted but again another thing that i've noticed since getting a little bit older is my hair thinning slightly around like these areas especially you know in the classic areas near the temple and i think that hair oiling at least weekly i genuinely think i can improve that a lot of hair loss clinics were saying that there was an influx of women losing hair due to stress because of the pandemic and i definitely do think i was one of those people but recently i've had this tuft of hair growing back like right there with a vengeance you can see it's like all the same length so i have a good scalp massager and i think i'm going to do my first hair mask later tonight. I also have a bath once a week down here. Having a bath can be really, really good for your health. I am on my self-care, like body recovery journey while in Vancouver. Like I'm pretty much dedicating my time here to that. I have a bath in New York, but like just no, just no. And like the bathroom here is brand new. No one's ever used it. It's nice. I know that sounds so silly for people that frequent the bath, but it's just something I'm really bad at, especially body care. Like I never lotion my body unless i'm going somewhere like how bad is that i have to deprogram all of these like bad habits and lack of self-care that i picked up in new york when i've been in new york it's always just like oh i could be doing so much of that time i could be editing a video i could be brainstorming a concept i could be replying to that person on email it's just this m mindset that you get into it in new york time is money i've just been living in sweatpants for the whole of november no shame it's been lovely. For December, I'm ready to step out. I do love fashion and I just haven't been prioritizing styling at all recently, but also just in general, I haven't been enjoying the process. But here, I can really see everything I have. I think my next weekly vlog is gonna have a lot of outfits because I don't know, I've just been loving what I've been styling. A big one that I wanted to do this upcoming year, which I've already started, I've made really good progress on is no phones in the bedroom. I'm just spending like the last hour before I go to bed reading, whatever in bed on the couch and just like not being on TikTok or not scrolling which I was chronic for when I live on my own I have very very bad unhealthy habits that way I bought a proper alarm clock for our bedroom my very battered vision board I spent two hours on her last February I did mine late I want to do it a month early because honestly almost everything that I put on my vision board everything on there has been a part of my year in 2023. I got the travel inspo, I've got the style inspo, I got the spiritual inspo, just the general energy of how I wanted to feel in 2023. It can be something that you will say you'll do and then you never actually do, but I'm telling you right now, if you cannot sit down and take two hours out of your day to be creative and plan your future, whether it be in this visual form or written form like how do you expect things to happen if you don't know exactly what it is you want and i will say this exercise out of all of the 
images and things I collected. It's not till you're selective and you have to cut things out and be concise that you really see what it is that you do want. But I definitely want to do my new one either today or this week. So let's do it together. And exercise has been prioritized. We actually joined a boxing club here in Vancouver and everyone is so nice. So we go boxing twice a week now. I've been doing sober, sober-ish November, December. Sober-ish because I've allowed myself like one alcohol credit per month enjoying being home and being quiet and being able to focus on working on my side projects without too many like distractions i feel like i'm kind of making leaps and bounds with things i think i'm always trying to push myself forward on kind of like the spiritual and mental planes and i find it's a lot easier to um do what i want to do in my meditations and all of that when i am sober so it's kind of got that benefit as well i think you can make a lot more progress when your head is clear so i think it's just going to be a mindful healthy little november december and then at christmas i'll let my hair down and then a new one big one therapy i'm starting therapy next week i got the kind of dates mixed up and i thought i was going to be having it yesterday but it was actually next week i'm trying emdr therapy uh, which is short for eye movement desensitization and reprocessing i think it's more of a somatic kind of therapy i guess relaxed into the idea of just to have this really selfish time to heal in a lot of different ways i've been interested in doing emdr for a while it's something that keeps coming up synchronistically and my intuition has definitely been pulling me towards it it kind of guided me towards this type of therapy but i did a lot of research about things that i could do and really looking at the different types of therapy out there to kind of find what i think would work well for me because the thing that i want to work on it's very specific it's like i can show you it in the drop of a hat like what the trigger is and how it acts and it's basically like an incorrect response to a trigger that i have and emdr can be really really great at like it says in the name kind of desensitizing reprogramming the issue so that you can process it correctly I shopped around with different things different people different styles and i feel like i found the right person for me so i will report back but i pretty much have booked in myself for three sessions in december and i think i'll probably get like another two to three in january so i'm hoping in the time that i'll be here i'll have a really well-rounded opinion on it i've been made very aware of the fact that like it isn't my fault that i haven't been able to fix this on my own or move on from this from my own and i'm just like frustrated by it at this point because i want to move forward i want to move on and i just feel like this little thing is just something that hasn't been able to like heal properly and i i want to go forward into 2024 just shifting this block like i don't want to carry this with me those are the things that i'm doing to kind of i guess reprogram my old life <laughs> recovery from my old life and kind of just taking those steps to be a bit closer to the person i want to be in 2024 now it goes without saying that so much of my social media is sharing about what i love sharing about who i am and if that's something that you feel called to do you might want to check out our sponsor squarespace if you've always wanted your own slice of the internet but just didn't know where to start squarespace has you covered they're an all-in-one platform where you just design a website from start to finish everything from the domain name to how the website looks you can pick a template for what you need so whether it's a simple blog sharing your loves sharing your interests like i have today an e-portfolio to display some of your work maybe you're an artist an e-com shop for a product you've created like mystoryloversunday.com maybe you want to sell a service you want to take appointments they have all of those integrated features available to you whatever you need squarespace and their 24 7 support team have you covered i'm a very much try it for yourself kind of gal which is why you can tinker around and play with it for two weeks for free with this link squarespace.com slash it will be in the top line of the description it will get you that free trial and if you like how it looks and you want to push it live down the line my code tarmer will always get you 10 percent off your future billing thousands of you have used my link over the past few years which i'm eternally grateful for i love hearing all of the success stories of how you started your first like online shop blogs and all of those like success stories it makes me so happy what about you don't just let me talk into the void over here i'm interested in what you're trying to bring in in your personal routines or your 2024 the storage that i ordered for the bathroom and all of my like stuff my skincare has arrived
There's today's makeup holding up back and I'm back in my sweats. Got a little breakfast eggy muffin from Viva. Oh, wow. That first sip of coffee right after, like you feel like you've deserved it. Anyway, I'm gonna get comfy in this little nook here in the corner of the couch, which has been my favorite thing. But to just like curl up on a big wide couch is the best. Hair oil in time. I put the oils in this like cooking oil sprayer. Hopefully this little thingy will work and it won't clog. Wow, am I a genius or am I a genius? This will have at least two hours in my hair. Ooh, smells divine. Got massager now. And just massage for like five minutes. Oh, I already feel like this is something I'm definitely gonna do once a week. This feels amazing. Why did it feel so impossible to just do this in New York? Really overwhelming room to be in to be honest I hated that bathroom maybe I had just too much products in there but yeah cheerio glass done now take a bath because I got home pretty much at nine did however take a steaming hot shower and got a lovely dinner cooked for me so can't complain you can have it by the way I've been drinking these every time I get a little bit of fizzy drink soda craving. Based in Vancouver called Alo, and it's like a gin and tonic, 0% alcohol, like kind of placebo drink. However, it is freaking delicious. It's actually zero calories. There's five ingredients in there, so we love to see that. 